Hey guys, this is the world famous Kailasa temple at Elora, and let's look objectively into who could have built this amazing structure. By the end of this video, I hope you will agree with me that our history is completely wrong and that this temple was built by a very advanced civilization. What's so special about this temple? This temple was not constructed by adding stone blocks, but an entire mountain was carved to create this temple. This is the only temple in the whole world where a mountain was cut out from the top to create a structure. In all other temples and caves, even in Elora and rest of the world, the rock was cut from the front and carved as they went along. The whole world has followed a rock cutting technique called cut in monolith, while Kailasa Temple is the only one that has used the exact opposite technique called cut out monolith. To see why this rock cutting technique is so different, let's take a look at this pillar that's over 100 feet tall. Notice how small human beings look when compared to this pillar. Normally, to create such a huge pillar, it would take years of work carving accurately on a huge rock. But this pillar was carved by scooping out all the pieces of mountain around it. You can imagine the amount of rock which has been removed to create this pillar. Historians and archaeologists are confused because of the sheer amount of rock that was removed in this temple. Archaeologists confirm that over 400,000 tons of rock had to be scooped out, which would have taken not years, but centuries of human labor. Historians have no record of such a monstrous task, and they think that this temple was built in less than 18 years. Let's do a simple math and see if historians could be right. I'm going to assume that people work every day for 18 years and for 12 hours straight with no breaks at all. I'm going to ignore rainy days, festivals, wartime, and assume that people work like robots ceaselessly. I'm also going to ignore the time taken to create intricate carvings and complex engineering design and planning and just focus on the removal of rock. If 400,000 tons of rock were removed in 18 years, 22,000 tons of rock had to be removed every year. This means that 60 tons of rock was removed every day which gives us 5 tons of rock removed every hour. I think we can all agree that it's not even possible today to remove 5 tons of rock from a mountain every hour. Not even with the so-called advanced machines we have. So if it's not humanly possible, was it done by humans at all? Was this created with the help of extraterrestrial intelligence? Now, forget about creating such an extraordinary structure. Can human beings at least destroy this temple? In fact, Aurangzeb, a Muslim king, employed a thousand workers to completely demolish this temple. In 1682, he ordered that the temple be destroyed so that there would be no trace of it. Records show that a thousand people worked for three years and they could only do a very minimal damage. They could break and disfigure a few statues here and there, but they realized it's just not possible to completely destroy this temple. Aurangzeb finally gave up on this impossible task. Note that this attempted destruction is very similar to another mysterious structure called the Menkaris Pyramid in Egypt. Another Muslim ruler wanted all the pyramids to be destroyed and started his work from the Menkaris 
pyramid. After years of trying, he was only able to make a small dent on the pyramid. He gave up too, where all these indestructible structures around the world created by extraterrestrials. Is that why human beings are not even able to destroy them? In fact, archaeologists agree that Kailasa Temple was created before any other temple in the Ellora Cave Complex. Could this have been built centuries before human beings started carving other temples nearby? Is this why the architecture, the design, and the size is so much better and bigger than other temples? If it was built by humans, it's logical to expect that the rock cutting techniques and design would become better over time people would gain more experience and knowledge and make better structures in the future. However, the Kailasa temple is the oldest and the biggest temple carved with engineering perfection. Unlike other temples, the Kailasa is the only temple that's visible from the air. Out of 34 temples, all carved side by side, Kailasa temple stands out and you can see it while flying over it. Is this just a coincidence? Or was it designed for people to see it from the air, like Nazca Lines of Peru? Even on Google Earth, the aerial view of Kailasa Temple clearly shows an X mark. This is how it looks from the top, and you can see a circular design that is studded with four lines that create this huge X mark. Was this created as a signal for extraterrestrials who can spot the location while flying? Unlike other temples of Elora, notice how well its rectangular design is oriented with all the four directions. Its entrance faces perfectly to the west. Is this another coincidence too? Unlike most other temples of Elora, this temple has bridges that connect towers, rainwater harvesting systems, drainage systems, hidden underground passages, secret peepholes that can show people walking in, elaborate balconies in different areas, and complex stairways that connect multiple levels. And all of this had to be planned accurately before they started carving the mountain. For example, you cannot carve these two structures separately and then decide to build a bridge later. No connecting rocks or external rocks were used at all and everything was carved perfectly from one mountain. Do you still believe that this was done with chisels, hammers, and pickaxes by people with limited mathematical and architectural knowledge. I hope we can all agree that the Kailasa Temple was built by a much advanced civilization, whether it originated in Earth or elsewhere.